An opossum gets a possum maker stuck in fence. Aunt Becky teaches us that fraud is everywhere you look. And Baron Man turns front yard into lazy river cause he's smart. Quicker than a port of john to Catalan. This is the Mandwalk Minute. Hey, this week's episode is sponsored by You know Andy him from the Manitowoc Minute. He's an Emmy Award winning journalist, comedian, and Wisconsin native. Charlie Barons is here. And thanks for reporting for us earlier. That was hilarious. You know, I, I did what I could do, okay? I'm out there every day getting the beat for you guys, okay? I'm working for you. How is Wisconsin treating you? Well, Wisconsin's great, actually. Yeah. 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 So um, it's uh, one of those states that uh, you go in and everybody... Uh, you know, some people are like, oh, do people get offended with the man talk, man? I'm like, you are talking to a population that wears cheese on their head yeah. to church. <laughs> That's know? right. So. <laughs> and do you, guys, do you guys really hate Illinois people? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, 100% folks. Now, it, it's not Illinois people, okay? There are some Illinois people who can be saved. It's just... They're not fans of the Bears, okay? So that's, that's it. I hate to say, I hate to come on here in the belly of the beast and say that, but it's got to be said, okay? I'm doing the Lord's work. How did this whole Manitowoc Minute that's become a live show start for you? Was this just a, something you did to, for a minute or we, literally? Well, yeah, actually, I w so I was in the news business. I was um, doing uh, local news, uh, came around the country, and I always had these words I said that news directors after the show would be like, ah, okay, a bubbler is not what you think it is here. Okay, so, uh, so there, there were a number of instances like that. And then after news, I transitioned to doing stand up. One of the characters I based off my time in local news, where instead of getting a voice coach, he just doubled down on everything people said was wrong. We, and that's where Demand Walk Minute comes from. At one point, were you a Tribune employee? I was a Tribune employee. You got it. KDAF in Dallas. Shout oh. out. Yeah, I was really bad at my job. What did you do there? I was I was a host of the show. I uh, I read the teleprompter really imp You see how I'm looking at where's my camera? Yeah. This is why I got fired. Okay? <laughs> so I could never find my camera. And then when I did, I said some weird things on the camera. So. Huh. Were you doing a news show? I, yeah, it was a news show. It was called nightcap a different kind of news okay. and now i think it's uh done gone but you've got did you write a script about your time in the news business that like kevin hart bought oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so what's so, that about so that was a number of uh years ago at uh um i uh co-wrote it, a uh, friend of mine, Zuri Hall, who was also uh, hosting with me yeah. in Dallas. We both wrote uh, this script, and then, yeah, they got it at uh, the Just for Laughs Festival. Now, since then, it's kind of stuck in limbo or whatever. That's how it happens, that's right? That's how it happens. It, it may forever be in limbo, but, you know, maybe it'll come back, too. We've always said this, this business is yeah. ripe for for parody it absolutely <laughs> is and so i'm hoping it does eventually come back but, uh -huh. you know. is there some kind of culture adjustment going from wisconsin to media in a top market and dealing with hollywood and yeah yeah i mean every everywhere you kind of have to you know feel the room a little bit yeah. but what's cool about the the wisconsin thing is i started doing the man talk minute in in a the comedy store in los mm -hmm. angeles so when I realized that, oh, it resonates with people yeah. here, you know, it, it's going to resonate a little <laughs> bit larger, you know. But it, it was like no matter how bad I was bombing, like the, this is the voice inside my head, okay? I can't <laughs> change it, all right? So this is the commentary of how I'm doing, and, and people always seem to like it. So uh, that's why I decided to make a quick video. Are you too young for Jonathan Brandmeier and familiar with his Eddie oh, Adler yeah, characters yeah, and all yeah, that? Absolutely. I'm just, it's what it kind of reminds me of. I worked with oh, him for a long oh, time. Oh, that's awesome. No, I, yeah. that's, a, that's a compliment. Thank yeah. you. Oh God, yeah. those are good times there. Yeah. But so, what do people in Wisconsin think of your characterization of them? Um, you know, a lot, so there are a couple people who are like, "Guy, we do not talk like that at all. I don't know where you got this from, but nobody here sounds like that." And I, I just sit there and go, "No, I, I, I totally get what you're. You know, I exaggerate for comedic purposes." And they're like, "Well, you should really consider what that does to us. You know, you're, you're making us look bad over here. So really bad. And say sorry, okay? Say it now. All right, where's the bubble? I'm parched. Right. I'm getting heated. Hotter than hotter than a walleye in a fish Fond du Lac fish fry. Get me some flapjacks for Christ's sake. When you tell your family you're leaving the world of journalism to go to show business, uh -huh. uh, what was their response? They're like, well, you're. Uh, so my dad was watching me do the news yeah. once, and I was reading the teleprompter, and I I pronounced faux f. A, 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 you know, you know. How, how do you even spell it? F A U X. Yeah, thank like you. A okay, I, I'm, huh? I'm okay. Re, yeah, and I pronounced it Fox. <laughs> <laughs> so, so after that, after that day, um, 
Uh, my dad lost all faith in me, and yeah. so he's like, you know, it, you're funny sometimes. Maybe you should consider that. Oh. So it was actually uh, his his nudge. Out of yeah. You know, you'd fit fit in here very well. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like that. Yeah, I would have I, I would have flourished here. You yeah. Know? Uh, and it's just when I have to uh, report on a serious story that it all goes, <laughs> all goes straight. Oh, look at this. See, Lock I only own that. one shirt. So that's the shirt I'm wearing now. <laughs> I'm glad I sent that picture. Do we shoot this in the green room? Yes. No, that was shot uh, three weeks ago. And actually, every headshot I have is on this shirt. It's a great shirt, folks. I got it from, uh, I got it off Craigslist, actually. There is a stain underneath. Uh, it smells in ways you can't imagine. Just don't get too close. Well, so. it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm going to go buy a new shirt now. Uh, so this is wonderful. Yeah. Zany's Rosemont tonight. Zany's Rosemont tonight. Yes, it's one part man walk minute, one part me. So. All right. Thanks, Charlie. Awesome. Good to see you. Thank ya. you, guys. Thanks for having me. Hey, Mike.